Z. We no. want you to do things exactly like you do yeah. things. Yeah. And we're just gonna be like, great. So another thing I thought of. <laughs> that might be our intro clip right yeah. there. <laughs> Our membership site is growing and we want you to be a part of it. We have over a hundred videos, so many exercises, tons of ways for you to learn, grow, heal, and inspire with us. Come on over and see what it's all about. Hey beautiful people, my name is Brittany. And I'm Connor. And today we're going to be talking about why we choose polyamory. Polyamory. <laughs> yeah. We were asked this question recently and realized we don't have a video on this subject on this channel. Right. Brittany has one, and I have one on our individual channels, but none together, which is funny because we, this is a big topic of our lives. Yeah, this video, this channel in part is like about why we choose polyamory. Indeed, and we, we've made a lot of videos answering that question through answering other questions. Right. So maybe this will not be super new to you, but we did want to make a dedicated video because it's really important. It's a big question. Yeah. And I mean, we're saying polyamory because right. in a way we need a word to talk about what, what, we're doing. We're, what we're doing. And also we like to refer to our relationship as like kind of unlabeled, an open dynamic. We don't have set rules. We don't have set labels for each other or for what we're doing. So polyamory feels like the closest term that we could choose. I mean, we've used other terms. Relationship anarchy is a fun one because that's like... And no labels are <laughs> It just sounds fun. It is. That's great. <laughs> Open relationship, whatever. You get it. Whatever. We're so I think the, the main big reason that we choose polyamory or our relationship dynamic is that we choose it, you know? Like it's our choice. It's our authentic choice. As opposed to saying, you know, we, we choose or we are in a monogamous relationship, but maybe aren't entirely choosing that. And we've talked about this idea before, where like monogamy sometimes is assumed it's in like relationships. A sometimes. Right, a default. And that is something that Brittany and I both have a lot of experience with. Yeah. And coming from that kind of background, we actively chose not to do that and to have more of a no labels approach, which basically turns into something that could be labeled as polyamory. Yeah. And I love this. I love that you brought up choosing because I feel like in a way polyamory is just one of the many things that we choose. True. But what I really feel like we've done is said, hey, I really love connecting with you. Let's just build it completely mm. from scratch together with no rules or assumptions. Like totally our totally own thing. Every day and we can just figure it out as we go along. There's no like set thing in place that we're going to follow. And I'd say that's the number one reason we choose this style of relationship. For us, it means that we choose it every moment, every day, however we want to construct it, we can. And we basically communicate throughout that entire experience about our needs and our wants. And I'm really excited about taking care of your needs and your wants. And I'm also really excited about sharing my needs and wants. And because of that, I think we can play around with this alternative style of relationship and have it be very successful and healthy for us. I think authenticity is a huge part of this for us. Mm -hmm. It's really has felt like tapping into who we are, who we really are when we can have the love and support to be whoever we want to be, whoever we're becoming, whoever's like in there at our core and to feel completely supported in that. And like we have found that our authentic selves dig connection with a lot of people in a lot of different ways and we yeah. really dig connection with each other too i mean mm -hmm. that's a huge part of what we're doing here i think part of discovering who you are is about experimentation and sometimes if we maybe default to certain lifestyles without really choosing them we restrict ourselves from the possibility or the potential of discovering more of who we are totally. through experimentation and maybe you'll find if you have the freedom, you'll totally choose this default style of life, of living, whether it's relationships or otherwise, whatever. But if you are kind of assumed or forced into that role without really allowing yourself to choose it in a conscious manner, then I think you may always feel a little bit of like, 
I don't really know who I am or I'm angry at this system or this setup or this right. dynamic. You may feel at times like you're kind of a victim to the to life. Mm. And all of these things I think we've really been aware of at different times in our lives and in our relationships and tried to remove in the creation of what we have going on here. Definitely. Something we talk a lot about is like we are empowered as individuals to create the epic relationships that we want in our lives. And it really just takes that. It takes us stepping up and saying, yeah, you know what? I can do whatever I want with my relationships. And, you know, I think that's what we really try to communicate through this channel and represent in our, in our lives. Another reason that I feel like I choose this is like kind of what you're talking about, but like the growth factor. Yeah. I'm such a growth junkie. I think we're both growth growth junkies and I want to have the freedom to grow in whatever way whatever way I want mm. I really don't like people telling me what to do me neither. anyone don't we don't like to tell each other what to do. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> and this feels like you know we don't do that we really never do that sometimes we're like what you're doing I want the opposite of <laughs> you know there are there are times like that but but we really are adamant about that idea like I am not your ruler or controller For or sure like just because you love me it doesn't mean you have to do this thing or that thing I mean I just love that you love me and within that context like how I can keep that love going is by supporting you in everything that you want by supporting your authentic self and sometimes that is challenging like sometimes that's more challenging in this type of relationship than other types of relationships but the challenge here feels like one that I am actively choosing yeah as opposed to sometimes in my other relationships which were default I didn't feel like I was actively choosing that specifically wanting to connect with other people sexually or romantically yeah. or just stay in conversation a bit longer when I knew that it might turn into something like flirtation and wasn't supposed to happen. Right. There's so many things that were default bad in other relationships I've had. For sure. And to be able to remove those, I can now really tap into what it is that I'm seeking. I get a better understanding of me. Yeah, and I want you to get that better understanding right. of you. Right, just not, like I want that for you. Yeah, it's it's really about lifting each other up and trusting that if we follow our inner guidance, we know what's best for us and trusting that others will follow their mm. inner guidance and take care of themselves and not trying to like put our wants and desires on somebody else, rather supporting them, receiving mutual support. And I think we both really want to make it clear that whatever style of relationship you choose to have, we 100% support you. And I think that the whole point is that we choose it. Yeah. This is about why we choose polyamory. Exactly. Not why you should do X, Y, and Z. No. We want you to do things exactly like you do yeah. things. Yeah. And we're just going to be like, great. So another thing I thought of. <laughs> that might be our intro clip right yeah. there. <laughs> Um, a reason I think we really have to mention that we choose polyamory is that we're total... We like the sexual Slut bags. Yeah, we like just bodies. Like, we're just like really into humans. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, sexy, awesome humans. We love connecting with them. We both found in other relationships that we were drawn to that and felt like stifled yeah. because there were parts of ourselves we couldn't express. And I love Connor connecting with other humans. I... Like it gets me going it really turns me on and Same. excites me for so many reasons and one of those big reasons is being able to see him in all of his glory like this is a big right. part of connor i want to see you in all your ways and mm. it's a turn on for me and i think a lot of times when we initially fall in love with somebody we see them in this like beautiful bright light that all they are that is all that they are <laughs> it sounded right and then over time i think sometimes like I know I did in past relationships felt like fear and I needed to like make sure this person was like mine mm -hmm. and I think I stifled them and I felt stifled and we're really going for the opposite of that like lots of room to grow lots of support I'm here for you and also like blossom do your thing mm -hmm. and I'm just going to continue to be more attracted to you yeah. which I am this is the first time in relationship with somebody where I felt like continually more attracted to I mean I've known you for like five years now 
It's a pretty big deal. And I'm just like more attracted to you all the time. I really feel the same way. It's exhilarating. And those pieces of our relationship that do bring stuff up that feel scary they come back to what Brittany was talking about which is like the growth factor yeah we still choose them and so we get to do with them what is best for us you know and i think that is um uh, like a learning experience so that we can grow so that we can heal and it doesn't mean that it's not challenging sometimes it's challenging but I, you know, lots of things are challenging and lots right. of things are great. So yeah, I think this is the healthiest thing that I can choose for myself Yeah, I feel the same way <laughs> and that's the most yeah. important thing in life yeah. I think you know find the things that like you're really choosing that are going to be the best things for you and Some people have asked us at different times like but don't you feel like you're taking away from like oh yeah the potency of what you can share together or like you or don't you want to be in a committed relationship mm. and i find that so interesting because i feel so excited about and like so committed yeah. in a way to what we're doing like Absolutely. our mission feels so a part of my life an integral part i've never been more excited about something and it's a huge part because i get to choose it every day and it's not just like being forced on me or something i unknowingly signed up for mm -hmm. and because we have this unwavering support for one another and because there's nothing we can do wrong i feel like we're making our relationship like bulletproof in a way it's just like well whatever whatever could come up like that's cool that's going to be great. We're going to like, it's going to be a part of our epic adventure. We're going to support each other on. And I just feel like we have a lot of trust and camaraderie and yeah, there's nothing to fear. Yeah. I a hundred percent agree. Yeah. So that's why we do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm sure in many more reasons, but thanks for your questions. We love answering questions. It helps Me us too. know that, you know, these videos are things you want to see. So keep asking us questions in the comments. You can physically even like the like button. It helps like, like increase our stats and we get to spread the channel more. And then you can also share this video with your friends. That's a great help for with us. With your loved ones on Facebook. However you want to do it. Yeah. We got more coming for you. So much love. Thanks for watching. I love you. I love you. <laughs> I love you. Bye. Bye.